All right, so I'm joined by Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist uh, Brooks Garner. So I know the skies are likely going to be more clear this afternoon, so the weather will be good. Yes. But I love the fact, I don't care how much of, of it we see, I want to see something. Yeah, you know what I mean? See something. It'll be about yeah, yeah, yeah. 60% covered. Okay, so you'll, you'll get a show. Just make sure you wear the glasses, right? Because we can't stress how important right. that is. I mean, really, because I mean, we've seen people in prominent positions look up at the sun on national yes, TV. Right. If you remember that episode right. last year, right, that situation. Right, right. So don't do it. It'll cause permanent eye damage. It really will after just a couple oh, of seconds. Oh boy, that's scary. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the weather forecast. Let's do so it. high clouds around. High clouds today. That's it. Should be good. Here's how it forms. We get the sun shining bright across the moon. The moon casts a shadow on the Earth, and, uh, and we we see the shadow travel across the Earth. And if you're under that shadow, it looks like a total eclipse. Absolutely fascinating. The moon 400 times smaller than the sun. The sun 400 times farther away from Earth than the moon, and so it creates that perfect ratio where the the moon covers the sun perfectly. I mean, it, it's a, a, a just incredible thing, astronomical miracle that, that that works out. Because otherwise, if the moon's uh, too far away from the Earth, well, you get a, a, an eclipse where you see a, a bigger ring around the sun. We've seen that before. It's called a penumbral eclipse. Um, that said, this is a total solar eclipse for parts of the U.S., not for us. For us, it's a partial eclipse. It begins at 146. By 223, temperatures start to cool because we'll have lower solar radiation making it to the ground. In fact, by the peak of this at 303, that's when the peak happens, where there's 57% coverage. We're only going to have about 40% of available sunlight so it'll look a little dimmer and it'll feel a little cooler that's going to be very interesting by about 352 warms back up the moon goes away off of the sun's disk and it's all over by after four o'clock so um, let's sum it up for you just so you have reasonable expectations about what you're going to see skies will look dimmer as if it like let's pretend it's totally sunny at 303 it'll kind of look like it's maybe a little bit overcast as far as how much sun is out there it'll, it, everything's gonna look a little dimmer it'll be a little weird looking it'll never get dark though you're never gonna see stars It'll peak for about three minutes when it reaches that max totality where it reaches about 57% coverage. And I'm expecting temperatures to cool about two to three degrees during the time of maximum coverage. So that'll feel kind of weird. It'll be like, whoa, there's, it's almost like somebody left the front door open and you feel the AC like rushing out. As far as total eclipse goes, it's gonna go from South Texas all the way up to Niagara Falls. And it'll be in this zone that there's totality. Everywhere else is just a, a shade of, of that where if you're say in Louisiana, it's about 90% covered. Here in Orlando, 57% coverage as you head up into Georgia it's about a 70 to 80 percent coverage so that said here's the cloud forecast we'll have some high clouds especially across north central Florida but it looks like from Orlando south mostly clear skies so that'll be very nice and that's reflected in our current satellite loop showing the real-time clouds pushing across north Florida this orientation of the subtropical jet stream is what's responsible for the clouds that's quite literally the edge of the subtropical jet stream working over the region and producing those high clouds 51 in Gainesville right now 68 at Cocoa Beach 59 in Orlando Check it out. This hour by hour forecast to me is fascinating, right? Because as we warm up to 78 by 2 o'clock, the eclipse happens and we're going to cool it down to about 75 or 76 before it warms back up once the eclipse ends to a high of 80 degrees. If we didn't have the eclipse happening today, we'd be closer to 82 or 83. Well, it's mostly clear right now. Forecast size today, 81 Gainesville, 78 Titusville. Winds coming in off the Atlantic, so the farther south and west you go, the warmer it'll be. Bushnell, 82 degrees for the high today. Now. Speaking of high, high pressure moving in from the west, and by the end of this week, we'll be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Now, this dip in the jet stream reflects a storm system developing, so just as we start to warm up, a reinforcing shot of some slightly cooler air, which this time of year means delightful weather, rolls in for the end of the week. But as it does so, we're going to have a band of showers and storms. One or two of the storms could be severe from Jacksonville into Georgia's Golden Isles and the low country of South Carolina. It's a little too soon to say if we're going to have severe weather here in Orlando, but it's not as likely. Now, on Friday, we cleared out and things get beautiful. So here is my seven-day forecast. Today, 80 degrees. Degrees. The solar eclipse peaks at three minutes after three o'clock. 82 degrees for tomorrow, 88 degrees for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, a 60% chance for afternoon showers and storms, and a beautiful weekend awaits.